Hello, one of the novelties of the of GBC Online uh, the last versions is that we can create our own uh, legends. Uh, we can uh, use the SLD uh, files to create uh, our uh, legends. Uh, for example, from layer styles, we can access to the different uh, layers and we can create for any layer, we can create a new style. Then we have the different the previous options and now we have custom option where we can create the SLD uh, file. So we can write here the code or we can create uh, the legend in a desktop uh, GIS and then export to an SLD uh, file and then copy the, the code uh, here. We can use uh, GeoServer documentation to create our, our uh, SLD uh, styling. For example, for different uh, type of uh, layers, the point layers, line layers, polygon layers, texts, uh, raster, etc. For example, for, uh, we can use transformation functions. Uh, we, here we have different uh, options. Uh, we can categorize, uh, we can interpolate, etc. For raster, uh, for rendering transformations, we can create, uh, for example, uh, heat maps, contour extraction. Uh, here, we, he, here we have different uh, examples. And now we are going to see uh, different uh, examples, real cases, uh, uh, case studies uh, in uh, GBC Online. For example, in this case, we have uh, a heat map legend with the different parameters that we can configure and uh, after that uh, we can uh, the heat map is used for uh, density of points for example if we have a, a tree a layer with the different trees we can uh, check where there are uh, more uh, trees here we have an example this is a tree layer and we have a, a basic legend uh, with a, a symbol. In this case, we are going to change to a heat map, and here we have the information. And after that, we also have a, this layer is a temporary layer, so we can apply the temporary functions, and we can change the information here for the different dates. We can see how is. Uh, changing for the different uh, dates and if we change the the legend to the heat map legend we also can apply the temporary functions here we can see how it, uh, it changes for the different dates we are going to see the different uh, dates how it changes Another example is this one. For example, uh, we can use, uh, we can divide a field and another field. For example, we ha we can we have the attendan attendance uh, of a, a beach or a congress. We have the different uh, the maximum number of persons that can be in these uh, beaches, and we are going to apply. A division between uh, the two f uh, the two different fields, and for that we have uh, a value, a percentage, and if it's greater than less, if it's uh, less than uh, 0.6, it's a medium occupation. No, sorry. Uh, here we have low occupation for uh, less than. 0 0.3 if we have and it's this is the color for this option and the another the other option is medium occupation we have uh, if the division is uh, between 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 so greater than and less than uh, we have uh, another color and for the high occupation we have 
uh, greater than 0 0.6 so we have a different color so depending on that we can see the legend here this is an LSLD uh, layer, uh, symbology so we can see uh, the different colors and we also can edit for example this layer here we have uh, 2000 people and if we write 1000 and we save we can see that the occupation is uh, is uh, lower and if we change uh, the value for example uh, 3000 if we save we can see that it's high op occupation so uh, this is another uh, case and uh, the third one is uh, with patterns we can we have a pattern uh, for the different uh, polygons and we can use them from a symbol library and we can use them at the SLD uh, legend so we have a uh, unit values uh, legend for the different values the first one second one and the color and uh, the color of the line the field color background color and the color of the line then next one next one and we also have this one that is a pattern we can link to an external graphic uh, to the pattern that i have at the symbol library and after that if we access to the project to the viewer to the geo portal we can see that we have the patterns here for this polygon and here for this uh, other polygon so here you can see the uh, this new feature available in uh, the new versions of gbc online